Hey guys, welcome back to Sleeping Dogs. Today we start episode four, I believe. Every morning I wake up excited to play this game. So thank you again for recommending it. We did a lot of crazy shit on the last episode, right? We did street racing, we sang karaoke, we almost got killed by Winston because he thought we were riding him out, which we kind of were, but hopefully we were able to talk our way out, out of that one and uh, everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. Now, we did do a really cool mission where we had to, obviously, for the cops, we were undercover, we had to bug Winston's restaurant. And for some reason, that really just brought me back to Mafia 2, like the whole lock picking the doors and all that stuff. It was really cool. So, again, I go back to the whole theory behind, I wonder if this story is inspired by like the Fast and the Furious, you know, where Brian O'Connor is undercover cop. You've got the good group, you've got the bad group, and then you've got Brian O'Connor in the middle of everything. So, I don't know. I just, I really dig the story that's being told here. And uh, I guess only the future will tell. And why y'all girls dancing? <laughs> What the fuck's going on? Don't I shut up Winston's mother's restaurant tonight? Oh. Oh, man. Winston, I just heard. Your mother? She's, she's fine. But two of our people were killed, and a couple customers were wounded. The police are there now. Oh, man. This is going to turn everything family? upside down. Hello? Everyone's outside. What are you trying to see? Oh, Today up. we go to war. We're hitting a switch up on the waterfront. All his drugs move to that place. It's how he makes his money. I want it burned to the ground. See who runs the operation. Put that hum guard on in the shadow grave. Hey, don't turn my gear. It's over. Winston, are you sure about this? Of course, I'm fucking sure. Look, what's the chairman gonna say when he finds his warehouse floating in the ocean? He's just not gonna like it. But there's no way Dog Guys walks away from this. So burn the warehouse, but take Suha alive. Put him to work for you, and give the chairman a bigger cut than he was getting from Dog Guys. Okay. Okay, okay, do it. Bring him alive. <laughs> right, boss. All right. It's time to get down to business. Getting Conroy's SUV. Is it this one? Oh, I gotta go on the passenger side? Really? Oh, shit. All right. Follow the Water Street Boys vehicle. Oh, dude, I forgot. This is freaking Hong Kong. Wrong people. We drive on the yeah, right. No kidding. <laughs> I, I got confused. We're for short a second. of gun. You're good with your hands, Shan. Let's see what you can do without iron. Look, hold up. We shouldn't go in shooting anyone. Anyway. There'll be workers in there. But we need Sue while alive. He's worth the fortune. Oh, we're going in shooting. This is Dog Eye's biggest money maker. They're not going to give it up without a fight. But you want me unarmed? You're the new guy. Once you're inside, find your own gun. Oh, and I use see. it. Believe me, you better have some bodies on you before the night is over. I want to see proof that you're not a cop. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one test that matters. Bro, this guy's on to us, man. I'm telling you. So you want me to kill one of Dog Eye's drug dealers to prove it? All right. It'll be my pleasure. This guy, he's been on to us since day one, since the start of the story. But I'll, I was also wondering when we we're going to get ourselves a handgun or a gun in general, because we kind of did learn how to use it, although I already forgot on the last episode, but we never got one. So I guess this is how we get one. I'll look around and wait for my signal to attack. All right, let's go in through here. Okay. You got any guns around here? I need, I need a gun, man. Got the manufacturing plant. Oh, okay. Right, I'm gonna use these guys and just slam them against them. Oh, no way you can tackle people. Oh, I didn't even know that. Hold on, let me slam them against these boxes. <laughs> Come here, punk. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. I'll grab him again. Hit this guy. Tackle him down. Beat him up. Okay, hold on. Pick him up. Pick him up. Sorry, I just have to do those Bruce Lee sound effects. It's it's in my genes. It's in my blood. I wonder if we can use the mannequins. 
Oh shoot, we're going in here. Avoid grappling, using heavy strikes. Like, do I really have to avoid striking? I mean, grappling? Oh shit. Oh my god. Got a big fella. Ooh, that was a nice freaking block. Hell yeah. Oh, I see why they say avoid grappling. <laughs> Get that ass out of here. I swear, man, what makes this game different is the karate abilities. Like, it really does. Come on, boys. God damn it, this guy almost got me. Oh, he's got a knife. You gotta be careful. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay, get the knife, get the knife. This guy was telling me, in order to prove that you're one of us, you gotta shoot someone. My boy, I've been stabbing these dudes since day one. <laughs> We go. Oh, I didn't get him. All right, he's gone. I know I could grab him and throw him against stuff, but I really do enjoy the karate behind it. Vault and enemy behind cover to disarm them. Oh, no way. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so now we get to use this. All right. Now, maybe. Oh, here we go. We're finally going to get to use an actual weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, guns have been unlocked. I want to do this. <laughs> that feels like, what's that game called? True Crimes? Was it True Crimes that allows you to do that? Okay, we got to be careful. How do we reload? Oh, R1. Okay. There's a guy right here. You know what? Oh my god, he's right here. Holy cow. Nice. There's a couple back there. I'm just gonna take this guy out here. The aiming is actually pretty smooth. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm assuming this is what just unlocked the weapon for us. Now we've got a nine millimeter here. Swap for the. All right. I think it's the same one. I'm not too sure. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up. Take this guy out. Dude, this really changes the game. Like, I'm telling you, it, ever since, like, day one, every episode is, like, a new mechanic. Something new has been introduced to this game. It's crazy. You guys were absolutely right. This game is... Can I pull that up? It says danger. This game really was ahead of its time, bro. So amazing. Eventually, we'll hopefully learn combos with the weapon and everything else. Oh, crap. Yeah, that does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, we're good. These are all the same guns, right? Yep. Oh, wait. Hopefully, we manage to get a uh, soul rifle or an SMG eventually down the line. Siwa, you're coming with me. Fuck you! You're not taking me alive! <laughs> Alright, light it up! Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh, dude, come on. Stop goddamn chasing me! <laughs> Stop goddamn chasing me, he said. Can I just shoot him in the legs or something? Oh, 
It's really burning. Run. Run. Come on, dude. I can barely see anything here. Oh, I got to drag him out. Huh. So hostage mode, aim and R2 to shoot. We can sprint with him too. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh my God. <laughs> this is awesome. What are you doing? Let go of me. You're going to shut up now. You hear me? You're fucking with the wrong people. God damn it. Let go of me. Shit. I said, don't move. Fucking cops. Wow. Oh. Oh my God. Wait, what? You just stole the cop? What? All right, fuck. I mean, we are cops at the end of the day, you know? So why not? And holy cow, this is fast. This is the first time we've ever driven a motorcycle. It belongs to a cop. Okay, hold X. When close to a target, press X when our world turns green. Wait, are we, are we about to jump into... No way. No freaking way. Bro, come on. No. <laughs> no. Are you fucking done? Okay, okay, I'm done. There's no way we just did that. Absolutely no way. I don't want to believe it. That is too good. That is too good. Dude, you can hijack a damn car just like that, huh? What crazy is that? What are you doing? Shut up. You know what you just did? You're dead. You're dead. Look, I'm not afraid of dog eyes. Dog eyes? Motherfucker, I get paid by dog eyes, but all my product goes to Big Smile Lee. You wanna fuck with him? I just did. You dumb bastards got any idea how badly this is going to fuck things? Hey, hey, ask me if I care. My product is what makes the whole triad work. I don't give a shit about your product. And you keep talking about it, I'm liable to forget I promised to bring you in alive. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? I'm sick of listening to you. So drop me off. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> They probably See trust you. me now, though. Nice motherfucking. From tonight on, your partnership with Dog Guys done. Take a ride. We can talk about the terms of your new partnership. You did good. Yeah. A little token of my respect. Keep this up, and there's a lot more. I get the feeling things are looking up for the water stream. Thanks, boss. Hey, man. Look, I don't do this often. But, uh, sorry, I was wrong about you. You show your true colors tonight, brother. Hmm. For the first time in the entire story, for the last four episodes, he finally trusts us. And now it's daytime. This is actually a beautiful day today. I like it. Dude, that was a cool ass mission, bro. Holy cow. Thing is, do we keep the weapon we just acquired? And now we have a so-called Big Smile Lee. Oh, shoot. We got a gun now? No way. Oh, my God. We finally got a gun. <laughs> Get out of the car. Now, do it nice and slow, punk. All right, we've got, uh, we've got Enduro. What is that? Is that the, uh, I wonder what race that is. Hotshot lead two. go to the street construction. All right, let's go to the street construction. There we go. I think that's going to be our next mission. I might actually have to do that street racing one, but I don't know if that's a side mission or if it's just part of the hot shot. Hold on. Keep going over here. 
We also have a new statue, which we can actually go and return it as well. We've got multiple things that we could do. All right, let's go in through here. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe we actually have a gun now. Can we pull it out while we're in the car? No, I don't think so. Actually, yes, we can. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? Look at this. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that is awesome. Get in the city van. Okay, I think this is actually from the last... This is a continuation of the hotshot. That's right. So, go to the hotshot's last known location. Alright. I did have a message here. I don't have it anymore. I think when I started recording, there was a message there. I think it had to do something with this mission, but... I'm not too sure now. Dude, I, I actually get, like, tricked out because... Here in the States... The right lane is the lane you're supposed to go to. And here in Hong Kong, it's the opposite. So that's why I'm always driving against traffic. Because I'm driving in the opposite side. Okay. You can't mm. be serious. Are you trying to insult me? That car's crap. Let me fix my car up. Then I'll take you. Easy. Fine. It's your funeral. You said it's your funeral. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Plant the bug under Hotshot's car. Oh, shit. You've got to be careful. This is a badass car, bro. You? How's your dad? Right, we've got one minute to do this. Okay. Perfect. Bug calibrated. Get back in the city van. See, bro, these missions are awesome. Yeah, this was actually one of the last missions that we had to complete. And I remember they said something about, bug about bugging his car, and I had completely forgotten, but there we go. Trail hotshot to the pickup. All right. All the rules of the road to remain undercover. All right. One thing we got to remember is to stay on the left lanes, okay? This is not the States. This is Hong Kong, damn it. Things are different around here. Oh, hold up. Is he picking up his friend there? Shit. Oh. How's the race circuit, huh? I still own it. Hey, you know this guy Wei Shin? Supposed to be Sen on Yi. Every time I turn around, that guy shows up. And usually the cops aren't far behind. Started racing the other day. Talking tough. You think he's a rat? Or on the cover. They had a problem with that a little while back. You think they kill a cop and the police just go away? Sen on Yi's in trouble if he is. I mean, in K, what do I care? But if I was you, I wouldn't let him see you do anything and walk away. This town is full of morons, Naz. It's up to me to put them into place. Yeah? Why? Punk by the name of Ace. Talking a lot of trash. Now the fool actually wants to race. No accounting for people's intelligence these days. You gonna take him out? Uh-huh. Motherfucker won't know what hit him. Tell people he's gonna take me down? What? Don't worry. He races me, then we scrape him off the pavement in sticky little pieces. Looks like you have little choice, huh? See, everybody suspects that we're rad. Nobody trusts us, man. <laughs> yes. Inspector, it's Way. Hotshot's gonna race Ace. And he's talking like he's not gonna let Ace make it to the finish line alive. Do you know where it went? Not yet. Hey, one other thing. Hotshot and his friend Nas suspect I'm a cop. Nas Singh, the drug smuggler? You know him? Yeah, I know him. He's an informant for HKPD. He's the one that put us on to Hotshot in the first place. What? Fucking guys playing both sides of the game. 
You want me to tell him to shut up? No. I agreed to help you, Inspector, but not if it gets me killed. Do everything you can to keep my cover intact. I'll deal with Nas myself. All right. Wait. Wow. All right. For now, let me know if you find out anything about that race. Dude, that's crazy. That guy's undercover as well. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. I think we have Stash the City Van at the HQ. Bro, that's hilarious. It's like you don't even know who to trust at this point. Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess I don't feel that bad now, right? I was gonna turn there, but we got this freaking bus right here. Yeah, it's definitely very weird driving on the left-hand side of everything. I really didn't realize it, and then I was reading one of your comments. And the comments said something along the lines of, uh, maybe the reason why you're crashing and doing all of this so much is because you're not noticing that you're driving on the wrong side of the road. And actually, I was. Which is still not ex and an excuse for me to be, like, crashing all over the place. But, one, it's fun, and two, it's still mentally messy up, man. Anyways, let's go straight over there. Look at this shortcut. The game's literally telling me to go all the way around when I can literally just take this shortcut and be home in a jiffy. See this? Just like that. All right. I don't think this means anything going to bed, but let's just go ahead and double check. All right, let's see. This guy wants in, he's gonna have to show me some blood. We did have to go to bed. Show your true colors tonight, brother. You are an officer of the law. Ah! We do have to go to bed because it's nighttime now. That's why the game, when we finished that mission, it started at daytime. Ah. That's when the street racing is going on, right? Oh, I think that makes sense. Yeah, it is. These girls are always here, bro. What, do you guys don't have a life? What's wrong with you? All right. There we go. Uncle Poe. That's where we're going. Uncle Poe. Wait, what? Hello. Hmm. Wait. The Knox Security Company has refused to pay protection money. If you see the vans, hijack them and bring them to one of our garages. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, really? Sounds good. I'll grab them if I see them. Okay, so I don't have to do that now. All right, good. Thank God. I ain't trying to do all that, man. I'm not your errand boy. I've got a job to do. Who's he talking to? It's the Dai Lo, man. It's the chairman. Oh, man. Wait. You're coming with me. Looks like you're going to meet Uncle Po. The rest of you, wait here. Don't do anything until you hear from me. What's going on? You are staying here like I told you. And you are shutting the fuck up! Got it? Yeah, boss. Of course. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I guess who's, uh, well, I, I, I think I should rather ask you. Guess who's his right hand man? Moi. Thank you very much. Why? Because we've been doing all the dirty work recently. You pissed off the wrong people, Wayne. Look, at least we kept Siwa alive. Yeah. That may be just what saves us. I'm gonna bump Uncle Pooh's cut. But when that does it, it's not fair, you know? Look what I built. The night market. All of North Point, really. And Dog Eyes gets greedy. What was I supposed to do, Hanley huh? Wabi Watanga? Just what you did. Look, you can't back down from that asshole. You and him got history, huh? Well, me too. Hmm. Listen, wait. Anything, anything happens to me, you look after our family, okay? Oh, we're, shit. We're a family. Family has to stick together. Duke, Conroy, they're good guys. 
but they're not gonna be leaders. I know Conway gives you shit, but you've proven yourself now. And he'll see it. Neither of you doesn't want to admit it. You'll do me a favor. Look after Peggy and my mom, too. This can be a rough business. But one thing we got going for us is each other. Brothers, you know. I know people use that word. But it means something to me. And it should to you, too. Dude, I didn't see that car. Not just that we're son on you. True brothers. Blood. We look after each other. And we look after the people we love. Bro, is this guy gonna die? Okay, Winston. This is the see, game. See, told me he really works for Big Smiley, not Dog Guys. I keep hearing his name. Big Smiley is backing Dog Eyes, sure. That's where he gets the balls to come after me. Lee has a lot of power. Along with drugs, he's in the prostitution. Porn. He even sells women across the border into the rest of Asia. The whole thing is run like an industry. Very sleazy, but big money. Winston, we can't just walk in there. Not if it's as bad as you say. We had a lot of choice. That's the way it's done, Wade. Besides, you can't hide from Uncle Paul. If you want you dead, you're dead. And I'd rather see it coming, you know? You should be okay. But if I get my ass shot, do not do anything stupid, you hear me? Okay. See, I feel like now we're starting to... Gives a shit. Fuck off, Johnny. This is the game trying to give us emotions hey, Winston, and feelings from these guys what's now. What's wrong? You look a little pale, man. That dog guy tells me you've been throwing your weight around. What happened? You guys used to be tight as shit. Is he here? Nah, he left a while ago. Without a scratch. Doesn't bode so well for the other parties involved. Go right in. Oh, shit. Have fun. There we go. We're about to meet uh, <laughs> Uncle Poe, the mob Uncle Poe. boss, perhaps? Ah, Winston. Come in. Sit down. Have some tea. And you, young man, must be way. Winston speaks very highly of you. Winston has been a good friend to me. I've tried to do right by him. I like the way you think. That's the attitude that makes us strong. Loyalty, discretion. Used to be more common. Winston says you're the one who made sure Siwa was not arrested. No, it was Winston's idea. He had to assert himself, assert his position. But he didn't want to inconvenience you in the process. Did he now? In any case, you did well. I want to show you my gratitude. Uncle Poe, there's really no need. Don't argue with me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do you know Roland Ho? He has a business collecting debts. The other day, he told me that he could use some help. It's, uh... Quite lucrative, you know. <laughs> Tell him I sent you. Winston won't mind in the slightest. Will you? Thank you, Uncle. Oh, man. Winston, 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 relax. I know you were provoked. Dan, do they kill him? God damn it. I bet a thousand bucks I was going to be carrying you out in a fucking body bag. Uncle Poe must like you. Uh, yeah, I don't think he has an opinion on me either way. All right. I tell you what, you get tired of spinning your wheels in the night market, give me a call. There's more to this business than strong arming street vendors. Ricky. Your name's Ricky, right? I appreciate the offer. You know, let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Dude, do they kill Winston? The game was incinerating them, but... Car across the street. Give you a chance to see what it's like to be in the big time. What is this? This is the same... Ooh. Me rolling at the impound lot. Jesus. This is fast. A call from Winston. Call him now. Yeah, you all right? No. Things are going to be okay. There's going to be work to do. A lot of work. Stay ready. 
I always am. Uh, in the meantime, I'm getting swamped with a sweating crap. I mean, need your help on a couple of things. Yeah? Yeah. I tell you, it's easier to be a Red Bull than a crew. I'll stop by the restaurant when you're done there, okay? Got it. Huh. The wedding? What wedding? My boy getting married or something? This car is fast as shit, dude. Like, I had to, like, kind of, like, you know, distance myself from the trigger because I don't want to look too bad driving now, do I? Hey, rolling hoe? Who's asking? My name's Wei Shen. Ah, oh, Wei. You got friends in high places, my boy. I hear you and Winston have been making trouble with Dog Eyes. Dog Eyes has been asking for trouble. <laughs> I remember when I was like you, always looking for a fight, ready to kill anyone who so much as looked at me sideways. Here's a tip for you, kid. Don't take on a boss in your own triad unless you know for a fact someone else is gonna back you up. Hierarchy is the only thing anyone cares about. Always have, always will. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, old timer. So, uh, when can we get to work? Okay, big man. Petsy Wing. Bad luck at Mahjong. You'll need this. Oof. Collect what she owes. Ooh. Just when we were talking about fully automatic weapons. Here we go. God damn, what is this? It's like a mix between an MP7 and a G36. <laughs> I'm passing wing. All right, we're about to do some dirty work here. This is no joke. This is no more... Uh, we're no longer doing, uh, hey, go over here and beat this guy up. You know, kick him across the face a couple times. Now we're actually Wait, shooting people up. Uh, just checking in, man. I heard things were kind of uh, intense. Wanted to make sure you're still with us, you know? Uncle Poe seems to have a handle on who's causing the trouble. <sighs> That's a relief. Look, I gotta go, Jackie. Gotta see a lady about some money. Yo, this car is fast, dude. I'm, like, scared. <laughs> You're gonna pay up, you understand? Oh, oh shit, is that a skyline or something? <laughs> Alright, I see why they gave me this freaking fast car. I think I'll pass these back up. Yo, really? Come on. What is this game even? This is insane. It's not even the guy that I need to. This is wild. <laughs> Who are you? What is this? I haven't done anything. That's the problem. You old guy like rolling home money, you gotta pay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't care if you're sorry. I care if you have the money. I, I don't, I'm sorry. Hey, stop saying that. Wasn't gonna do anything that bad. What the freak was that? You got the money? No. Next best thing, though. Got a car loaded with dope. All right. You'll have to do. Bring it back here as soon as you can. Don't drive around in a stashed car any longer than you have to. Bro, he slammed that girl out of the car, and I, I was just like, what? What did he just do? And then out of nowhere, I hit this freaking. <laughs> Pull out of the truck. I mean, I flew, I flew out of the car at least 50 feet in the air. That was insane. Dude, what is this? This is so crazy. Oh, 
back in here. Can I keep the car though, please? I couldn't even keep the other one. What the hell? Those are good cars. These cars are worth a fortune. We're deep into shit now, man. We really are. By the way, I need to change my outfit. I know I've unlocked a couple of them, but... Alright, Raymond needs to meet right away. I don't know if when we unlock an outfit, if we have to buy it, if that's what it means, or if we actually have it in our locker within our house, our apartment. Raymond. Shed. Finally. Where the hell have you been? Look, I... Uh, do you have any idea what's going on? What happened at the warehouse? Raymond, do you ever actually read my reports? Your reports? All I have to do is read the goddamn newspapers. They're calling it a massacre. If it ever came out that the police were involved, we're dead. It won't. Well, you can't know that. You at least, you at least could have turned Siwa over to us. It would have helped our case. That would have put the entire operation at risk. What does Penju say? You know, he's not your handle, Wei. I am. Well, then fucking handle it, Raymond. Well, how'd you think this was gonna go down? Huh? Whatever it takes. You remember that? You wanted results, and you can't get them sitting behind a desk, nose in a rule book, with a stick up your ass. Look, Raymond, I am doing what needs to be done. No, no, you've crossed the line, Wei. I'm gonna terminate this operation. You can't do that. Pendru won't allow it. Pendru may like to take chances. I don't. And you are dangerous. Fine. But before you go back to your office to try and pull the plug, go ahead and tell Pendru that I just met the chairman of the Sun on Yi. The chairman? <laughs> Wait, you're, you're just a foot soldier. Well, this foot soldier has just been marked for promotion because I made sure Suwa got out safely. It'll be in my report. And maybe this time you'll actually read it. Hmm. Feel stupid. I like this game a lot. I've, I've, I've got to admit, this game is awesome. All right. I don't know what this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, what? What? Wait a minute. Is this our new house? What the heck is this? Intel reports illegal fighting on Secret Island. I got you an invite. Ferry leaves from Central. Bro, is this our new apartment? What the heck? Dude, this is sick. Bro, no way. How the hell did we just... How? Okay, let me go to my closet and see what we can... Uh, access the wardrobe. I know we've unlocked a couple of things. Oh. United Front. That's uh, things we've unlocked, maybe? No? Okay. Absolutely not. Shoes. Yeah, I think actually... I think we've unlocked things, but I think they just unlock like in the store for you to like precip. <laughs> oh shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. High roller. Shit, you already know. Got a new apartment and everything. We gotta make sure we got the whole shebang. Look at us now, huh? Looking like money, dude. This is so sick. Let's take a quick little tour here. Look at this bathroom, bro. Let's go. This is so random, though. Like, I guess since we got promoted or something. I don't know. What is this here? This is just uh, sleep. Can we take a shower? That'd be cool. Let me see. Can I take a shower? No. Can I take a poop? No, I cannot. Can we access the computer? No. All right. All of it is just aesthetics, but uh, yeah, welcome to my new apartment, my new home. Pretty slick indeed. I don't even know where we're at. So we're going to go ahead and do a new mission called Bright to Be. When I take this car here, I would assume people here probably have better vehicles. We are now in a richer neighborhood of 
course. So, we just came up across on a Lexus, looks like, in a way. Anyways, we're gonna do one more mission, Bride to Be. I think this is the one that has to do with Winston. He did say something about a wedding or whatever, so. Here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> no problem at all, Mrs. Chu. All right, so doing some deeds. Oh, who is her? Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. All right. I, I don't know why. We had never seen this character in the game before. <laughs> I don't so remember hey, her. Did you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then what will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like I Winston. Knew, I knew it. I freaking knew it. wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. Hmm. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. And I know. How about her meek leaving? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. Now, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. You're lucky. My mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too, and that drove her crazy. Not enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? So, this is pretty much what the game is doing now. Like, see how she's like, oh, you're family now, this and this, yada, yada, yada. This is the game trying to attach us as the player and or the viewer you guys to these gang members and these bad people it's the same thing that they did with fashion Here we the Furious, are. you know i'm i'm saying it right now we're gonna end up uh, so something bad's gonna again. happen but i think well, we're gonna end up turning on okay. this side versus the, the cops of the flower <laughs> yes yes i'm just the driver <laughs> I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Wow. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the garden temple. Well, yes. But they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. Ah, oh, because you couldn't get the damn black orchid. 
right. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. Oh shit. Emergency. Uh, shop Ooh. called somebody stealing our wedding cake. So your cake. mother took you to the States? Must be that asshole dog guy. <laughs> yeah. Stop the no, robbery. She loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get there. Oh shit, time remaining three minutes. We get this. My mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up. Change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Hey, Some don't die at all. Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. <laughs> We're totally not lying to her. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, we're supposed to shoot the damn van or what? And I got a gun with me, you know? Not a big deal. Just gotta let me know. I'm gonna pull the trigger. Dude, the driving in this game is so crisp. Super responsive. To the point where it's kind of scary sometimes. And notice how there's like no cars here. <laughs> Not pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here, here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. <laughs> don't worry. Get that van. <laughs> I'll follow awesome. you. Dude, this is crazy. This game is insane. Drive the cake van to the bus depot. Bro, what the heck? That was just another woman. Like, why would she be stealing the damn cake? Sorry, girls. And we also just left Winston's bride to be stranded in the middle of nowhere inside our car. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, this game's got so many different features, man. It's so different from, like, it's so similar yet so different to, like, a Grand Theft Auto or. You know, games of that nature. It's wild. Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All right, so now we're back with her. Cool. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Okay. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh -oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that orchid. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Hmm. All right, go another temple we go then. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be rough, but it makes us a family too. Yeah, now I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, and sisters too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know what? Don't scratch the paint! <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. You know, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh -huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. God damn it. What about Amanda, Way? Come on, bro. He was a good looking one. Very Americanized too. After hours don't raise Wait too here. much. I'll be right back. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe through here. Oh, are we, are we about to change? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Fast talk uh, past the monks to bake the orchid. Okay. Hello. What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it, when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, and there's a statue here. there too. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Let me talk to this guy here as well. Do I have to? Probably not. Okay, let's go straight here. And there's a statue as well. Okay. Oh, actually, I might have to. It's gonna be all the way around here. Yep. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. <laughs> This game is so much more than when it started out. It's wild. And I know I keep saying this, but you really, when you play, you really realize. And these are the black orchids. I've never seen black orchids in my life. I'm probably going to have to Google it after this. You stop right now. Are your way back? Oh, these monks probably know their shit. Oh, shit. Come on, monk. Come on. I'm going to show you my new tricks. Sorry, dude. Okay, do we have the black orchid already? Okay, so we don't have to, like, snatch it. I guess we already have some of it with us. Come on, boys. Talk about brotherhood now, huh? Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Ooh. Snapped his neck. The only way I think the only way we can defeat these guys is by countering them. They are too talented indeed. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. I think there's one more up there. Did I take him out? Probably should. Oh. Wow, that's the guy literally ringing the damn freaking bell. All right. Well, off we go. Screw this temple. It's only caused me agony and pain. Damn freaking monks. All right, so do we have to we go back in here and get our clothes or Man, maybe not. <laughs> Let's get back in the car. Right side, right side, sorry. We're in Hong Kong here. Oh, we got the orchids. That's all that matters. You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Oh, All thank right, you, Wei. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect. It never is. And you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope. I know. Women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath, he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. And then you'll always be happy. What's it like in America? 
Uh, less crowded? I guess. Do you like it better here or there? In some ways, I was more comfortable there, but it wasn't home. It's important to have a home. But I'm not sure. You know, Hong Kong... Home is home. This has been a long-ass mission, bro. Oh my god, look at this ghetto set of clothes now. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing <laughs> stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's going to be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. All right. So we got dressed up nicely for no reason. Now we look like a damn gangster. Uh, but uh, it's all good. I think this has been a pretty good episode. The next mission, I think it's called Wedding. Um, I've been looking at... I always do this with Let's Plays. I just look and see how many chapters or missions there is in the game. So I know more or less how far into the game we are. I say we're about 50-55% through the story. So we probably have about 3-4 more episodes here for this story. So uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you want more daily sleeping dogs, leave it a like rating. And I'll catch you guys, hopefully, on the next one.